welcome back to my channel. So good to have you back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Beauty and Nails by Kira. I am Kira and it's great to have you here. So today I am reviewing some new stuff that I brought off a website called catchoftheday.com. Are you maybe I don't know, and this is what I bought. So, um, I will leave how much everything was down in the description bar, and I'll just kind of let you know, um, shipping times and quality, and if I if it's legit and stuff. Which I did email them, and they did say that all of their products are 100% authentic. So, if you'd like to see my little baby catch of the day haul and then the look that I create with what I purchased, then keep watching. Okay, so first of all, I purchased this Real Techniques Two Miracle Mini Eraser Sponge Set. So these two cute little sponges, I guess, are just used for under the eye and to sweep away makeup. Mishap. So I'll just read what it says. It says from Flea. Mascara to eyeshadow fallout. These little miracles help sweep away your makeup mishaps. Use damp to blend harsh lines or dry to pick up makeup. So the very cute, soft, cute little sponges. They're kind of tapered on one side and pointy on the other side. Um. Then I got this, which is. Uh, Real Techniques Sun Kiss for Primer, Foundation, Contour, Eyeshadow, and Powder. And it's got two brushes and three, sp uh, four brushes. One, two, three, four, and three sponges. So I'm also going to be using those today. And finally, I got this little Morphe 9 quad. No, 9 palette. I don't know what they're called. Um, and it's called So Iconic. So I'm going to be using that today to create a look. So it'll probably be smoky eye with blue on the lower lash line. That's what I'm thinking. Um, just cause they're kind of the vibes that I'm getting with this palette. And of course I'll use all of my brushes. So let's start off with primer and foundation first. So I better get out my little brush set, right? Um, oh, there's a little card, cute little card in there. That's pretty. And then here's all the brushes. So, um, I have a little bit of a smell, but it could just be like new brush smell. So this is the buffing brush, the duo fiber contour brush, that'd be good, um, the prep brush, and finally the medium shadow brush, that is a big fluffy brush. All right, cool. So maybe I will use, I'm going to use the sponge. Um, and it says you can use this dry for full coverage. So that's what I'm going to do. So first of all, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Primer on the prep brush and just see if it's worth it. Um, I usually just use my fingers to do my primer, but we'll see. <laughs> Definitely not a bad brush. Um, especially if you were going to be putting on a face mask. I think that would be really good. I usually use like these little paddle brushes to put on my face mask. So they're pretty much the same. So that's probably what I would use that for. Um, yeah. Nice. It's soft. 
Um, so I'm just gonna let that sit. And then for foundation, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty foundation. If I can find it, it's in my drawer. Fenty foundation, I'm just gonna squirt that on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna go straight in. She's dry. And I guess bounce it in how I usually would. So this is, it says on the packet, if you go in dry like this, it will give you full coverage, which it definitely is. That's nice, so that is full coverage, like compared to, you can kind of see all of my little spots and pores and whatnot, but that's really kind of sitting on the skin nicely. Although I'm like, I don't know what side of the sponge to use. I started off with that side and now I'm like this side, so. With the buffing brush, I'm just gonna lightly buff that down my neck. Oh, this is really nice. This is a really soft brush, and I'm just kind of blending that down my neck. Oh, I really like that. I think that looks really, really, really like it's super, it looks super matte is the first thing that I'm noticing. Like it looks, it's matte. Um, it's blended. I really, that's a great little sponge. Um, all right, so I'm just going to conceal. I'm going to be using two concealers today, which is kind of been my favorite way to conceal lately. So I do the super white, shape tape right here um and then i go in with estee lauder double wear concealer in the shade 6n and i just kind of put it there um and i just really like the how they just work together So this concealer is not like a, it's not light. So it's not highlighting, but if I just go a little dot of that one, that one is super bright. So I'm gonna go in with one of the little baby sponges and um, just see how, how they blend it out. So I might blend it out with this big one and then under my eyes, I'll use the little one. Wow, that blended it. Did you see how quick that blended out? Didn't even have to do anything. All right, and then I'll go in with the little one just under my eye.
is beautiful. Um, so I'm just going to take over whatever leftover kind of product is on that and just swipe that over my eyes. Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to set underneath my eyes with just a little bit of powder and just one of these little baby Brush that away using that Joy Fiber brush. Oh, it's really soft. Okay, that is my base done. Um, I wonder if I should powder. I actually might powder. Um, just to set that a little. I'm just going to tap a bit of I'm just going to go in with the big fluffy brush and just focus on my eyeballs now okay so I'm going to prime with shape tape just kind of blend that all the way up all right so now going with the Morphe palette. All right, so it's really, oh no, I dug into a couple of the shades accidentally because I've been just uncoordinated. All right, so I'm gonna go in first of all with that fluffy Real Techniques brush and I'm gonna go into the shade, the one. And I'm just going to brush that all over the eyelid. Okay. I'm going to go in next with shade Dam. And a fluffy brush. I'm going to tap that into the crease a little more. So I'm thinking what I might do is kind of a halo eye with the blue underneath. That's the plan because there's a really kind of nice um, black and I really want to test that out. So I'm just going to build up the crease color just so that black has something to blend into. All right, so I'm just gonna do these things and then I'm gonna go into the black really lightly and I'm just gonna Start stamping it on the outer corner. And then buffing it into the crease. That is a really, really nice smoky eye. So what I'm going to do is 
go back into that color down and just buff out those edges where the black was. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a smaller, more precise little pencil brush and I'm gonna get back in with that black. And I'm just gonna start tapping that on the outside, the outer V. And just on the inner corner a little bit, just to darken it up. And then I'm gonna blend that and then I'm gonna find out my lid color. All right, so with the lid color, I'm gonna go into this color here, I'll say wah, um, and I'm gonna just pack that onto my lid. Um, I think I might put a little more shape tape just in the middle, just so that it's sticky, so it's got something to stick to. I'm really kind of like wiping it off. Actually, I might even go a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to use this little, little brush. Alright, and then with that other colour, I'm just going to go in with a little flat paddle brush. And just kind of load it. Well, it's a little bit crumbly in the pan. Okay, so then I'm just going to use that blending brush that I was using and I'm just going to try and blend the edges just so it's not as um, harsh. So I'm going to go in with, I'm just going to put a little bit of dam, dam on my brush and just tap it. Okay, I might just go over with a little bit of the colour Butte, just in the centre, centre of that. Not that it needs to make it any brighter. So I'm going to line, do a thick liner as I do a mascara. But before I do that, I'm going to start working on the bottom lower lash line so I don't know if I should just go straight in actually what I might do is go in the color with the color bow down and then with that other color over the top so I'm going to use bow down on this little blending brush and just make it smoke it and then I'm going to tuck that blue right up underneath Pretty. Um, what brush am I going to use? So I need like a dense pencil brush. Um, oh, this guy might work. Okay, so I'm just going to load him up with the blue. All right, I'm just gonna, oh, make my eyes water. I'm just gonna blend that out with that, uh, with actually the color Dayum. I'm just gonna like 
slightly blend it. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that lid color just in the center as well. Um, which brush did I use? Which brush did I use? I use this one, so I'm just gonna try and All right, I'm going to do liner, mascara, and I'm going to do the other eye, and then I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So I lined my eyes using this little itty baby baby Morphe brush. And I actually just, I couldn't find my gel eyeliner. So I just used a little bit of the mascara. So, you know, like this kind of, that bit. Um, I just wiped a little bit of that onto my hand and used this little eyeliner brush. And then I just whacked on the same mascara on my lashes. And I think that it looks pretty good. I really like this. I really like this palette. I, yeah, this is a cute little smoky palette. And I think the thing with this palette is that there is a lot of versatility in there. So you don't have to go and do like a full glam bot look like this. You could just do like a nice kind of nude um, look or just lashes, but like eyeshadow, but better. So um, I'm going to do lips, blush, highlight, and then I'm done. I am obsessed with this look. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, highlighter blush. Um, I'm gonna go in, it's my, I'm obsessed, it's my favorite, um, with this Becca palette. And I'm gonna use that Duo Fiber. It's a contour um, brush, it says. Duo Fiber contour brush, but I'm just gonna be a rebel and put blush on that. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna tap it in. and just kind of sweep it. And this already has a little bit of shimmer in this blush, so kind of already gives you that highlight, but. That's pretty. Um, I'm going to highlight using the same palette. I'm just gonna use this kind of tall fluffy brush from Morphe, and I'm gonna do what I always do, I'm gonna mix. I think I might actually highlight my brow bone with that color too. And I guess these colors are quite similar to the shade that's on my um, eyelid. So it kind of like it all mixes together. Like, pretty. Um, okay, lips. Um, lips. I've got a couple of options, I guess. I could do like a nude. Um, I might just go this one. This is Jeffree Star Calabasas. I find this looks, it's too pink on me, so I would definitely um, dull it down. And I'm going to dull it down with Kylie Malibu. Just 
I'm gonna get a little brush and just okay setting spray and then we're done on the I guess whole patch of the day experience now I ordered these on I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget I ordered these on Wednesday the 13th of May so it was like at night and they arrived Monday the 18th so let's just say we ordered Thursday Friday then the weekend got here on Monday super fast shipping super 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 fast shipping so shipping was $6.99 um the morphe palette was i think $14 the real techniques little baby sponges were maybe $8 and the brush kit was 25 i think so it was all super super duper affordable so catch the day is kind of like a marketplace where they kind of get rid of their excess stock of things so i had a great experience on catch the day loved it shipping was here really good quality um this eye look really speaks for itself so you can't lie when you can see how amazing it looks um now I will say that the blue is a little muted. I would have loved a bold metallic blue, but you can't always get what you want. But this blue works very nicely in the palette um, and with the color, color story that it is. The black blended beautifully. Sometimes when you get super duper matte blacks, I get, I freak out, like I don't know what to do. They are so matte and they are so hard to blend but that just blended like a dream and it blended into the other colors beautifully can't fault it love it um so that is my catch of the day real techniques morphe review um if you would like to see more videos like this then leave me a comment hit the subscribe button i love chatting to you guys in the comments um and i hope you have a great day Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye.